Well, as the saying goes, one person's trash is another's treasure. And one Halifax man hopes that what he digs out of the mud and sand in Nova Scotia waters will create a ripple effect. The CBC's Haley Ryan has more. Postcard perfect inlets like these are what draw tourists to Nova Scotia. But it is what's beneath the lapping waves that Sean McMullen is interested in. The water is warm and clear. A perfect treasure hunting day for McMullen, who's been snorkeling since he was a teen. But he only began filming and sharing his underwater adventures around Nova Scotia's coast this summer. The treasures part is, is uh, the most fun part. I uh, found lots of clay pipes, um, bottles from the 1800s. The clay pipes are also from the 1800s. I found radios, TVs, uh, you name it, it's all under there. He's part Indiana Jones, part trash picker. And while he hasn't found any museum-worthy material just yet, McMullen is always open about what he discovers. He'd be happy to hand over something special. He shares everything he pulls out of the water with his social media followers. The good with the bad, including piles and piles of garbage. He says it's a reality check. All this litter may not be visible from the shore, but it is part of these picturesque communities. What I'm hoping it does is maybe it'll mo motivate other people like myself who want to make a difference. You know, a lot of people do like take trash off highways or in, in neighborhoods. I'm just taking care of the ocean neighborhood. He's already won over one scuba diver, his dad, Jonathan. Usually, he says it's the father teaching the son new things. But in their case, Sean has inspired him to be a more responsible underwater visitor. Yes, I've been hauling up bottles and hauling up some trash. And last week we picked up a, a kitchen sink and recycled that. And we picked up a door, I think, a plastic door off a boat. Um, there's, there's been a lot of garbage. So it's changed my view a little bit of what I'm doing under the water and kind of getting excited and uh, kind of rekindled my uh, passion for diving in a different way. Sean plans to search the waters around Nova Scotia for a few more weeks if the weather cooperates. Then he'll get his diver certificate so he can take his hunt for treasure and trash to new depths. Haley Ryan, CBC News, Terrence Bay.